how do I prevent selecting components through objects? So let's say I go to create polygon sphere. If I go to the sphere, right click and hold right click and go to vertex. And let's say I put it in x-ray mode. You could do so by pressing, going to shading, go to x-ray. It's also this icon here in the viewport. So if you were to marquee select in the default tool like this, or actually let's say here, you'll see that you'll select the faces that are in front and the faces that, that are in back. So if I go out of x-ray mode, you'll see that they're selected. So one way you could prevent it on the object level, if I right click, go back to object mode, select it, the object, go to display, go to polygons. You could tear it off by t t clicking the top off here and you could click on back face culling. Well, to visualize what that's doing, if I select this, go back to shading, Y for x-ray, if I select this and choose back face culling now, you'll see what that does is it won't draw anything that's behind. So the normals of the, the faces are facing the camera that will be drawn and the ones that are behind it will not be drawn. So if I click that again, you'll see that they're back. And if I click it, you won't see the front. So when you have, when you don't see the, the back, if you right click and choose vertex, and let's say you try to select these faces, if I go around, you don't see the other side selected. So that's, so that's one way to do it. I will, I'll just go back into object mode, select the object, turn back face culling back on. So I can see the back. Um, it's an x-ray mode, so I could click that icon here, or again, go to shading, x-ray to turn it off. To show wireframe, I could go to shading, wireframe on shaded, or I could click on that icon to do so. Another way you could do this is actually through the tool itself. So even if you don't have, let's say I go to vertex mode by right clicking, go to vertex, and I select marquee select by left clicking and selecting a, a region. It will select the back even if it's not in X-ray mode, and this could be really annoying. This is actually a mode inside the tool itself. So if I deselect by marquee selecting nothing or right click and go back to object mode. If I select this button, show and hide tool, you'll get tool settings. I'll reset the tool just so we're starting at reset here. There's an option here called camera based selection. If I turn that on, only what you see in the camera, facing the camera, will be selected. So if I select this, go back, right click and choose vertex, and then marquee select like this. Now you'll notice the back is not selected. The back components. If I take off marquee, the the, on the marquee, the camera based selection, and select, you'll see the back will be selected. This is the more common way, I would say you could use it. Or you could, uh, then again, you could go back to component mode, right click, go to vertex. If you, if you go into the drag, that's another option just to show you, you could select things by dragging it instead and it's already camera based, so it won't select the back. Or you could unselect the camera based mode. And if you try to select, it can select the back part. If you want to, you could uh, press four on the keyboard to go into wireframe and you could select things in the back as well. And I press 5 to go back to shaded mode. But I'll reset the tool, I'll put it back in mar marquee. Actually, it won't reset there, you have to press marquee here. So again, their default will track it, usually keep on camera base. If I select this in marquee, not camera base, it's going to select the back components. If I have it on and do marquee select, it will not. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.